앞서 체코 특사의 방한 소식에서도 전해드렸듯이 지난 7월 우리나라가 체코 신규 원전에 대한 우선 협상권을 확보했습니다. 이것이 어떤 의미를 갖고 또 앞으로의 과제는 무엇인지 조태영 기자가 이반 얀차렉 주한 체코 대사를 만나 들어봤습니다. Well, Ambassador, it's an honor to meet you through this interview. Thank you for having me. It's an honor as well. Thank you very much for this invitation. So we are here to discuss about the Czech nuclear power plant. Uh, let's move on to the conversation, shall we? Yes, definitely. I'm ready. 네, 이번 체코 원전 사업은 체코 역사상 최대 규모의 투자 사업으로 알려져 있습니다. 체코에서 이 같은 대규모 원전 건설을 추진하게 된 배경이 무엇일까요? For Czech Republic, the issue of energy is a security issue. Uh, supplying energy for everyone is of of most importance. So we all know that we have to uh, face, you know, the challenges of the Green Deal, to the decarbonization of the economy, to actually open up a, a bit, uh, to negotiate uh, further uh, involvement of the nuclear industry in our energy mix. 네, 이번 체코 원전 사업은 총 4기의 원전을 건설하는 사업이죠. 한국은 이 4기 중 우선 2기에 대한 우선 협상권에 따냈습니다. 프랑스 EDF 대신 이 팀코리아가 선택된 이유는 무엇일까요? All the parties can apply you know, for four blocks you know, to build by their technology to supply it. And as the tender goes, it was a, it was a fair competition. between uh, actually three uh, big uh, companies. It was an uh, American Westinghouse company, it was a French EDF, and it was a Korean KHNP uh, uh, reactors. In the end, uh, 17th of uh, July uh, this year, uh, the government of the Czech Republic decided that the uh, KHNP proposal was probably the best uh, to actually to start the negotiation as a prefer preferential bidder. So it means nowadays uh, Korea team will have a chance you know, to negotiate with the investor about the first two uh, blocks which, will be, which should be starting to be built in 2029 and be ready before the 2040 into exploitation. 네, 그런가 하면은 덤핑 수주 논란도 있었습니다. 이에 대해서 대사님께서는 어떻게 생각하시나요? Uh, the competition was a fair and transparent. It was the uh, clear uh, message of my government, you know, to the international, international, uh, global um, area uh, that uh, to the global world that we have to do it, you know, in transparent way. So actually, no uh, allegations of dumpings or actually uh, preferential prices, you know, should be involved. And I, if I compare the prices, what the uh, uh, Korean bid uh, proposed to us, if I, if I compare it to the Baraka nuclear power station, I think it's a very fair price, you know, mm -hmm. they, all, they gave us, you know, which are offered to us. 그런데 또 일각에서는 이 웨스팅하우스와의 지적 재산권 소송이 문제가 될수 있다 이런 이야기도 나오고 있습니다. 어, 대사님께서는 어떻게 생각하시나요? There is an issue of VIP rights with Westinghouse. Uh, it's uh, not a um, secret. Um, everyone knows it. And I think you know that uh, even KHNP in they offer, they make some insurances to the Czech party that it will have no influence on their bid and on the outcome of the negotiations with us. Uh, so then means you know for Czechia. It doesn't play any role because you know we are having an uh, obligations you know from the Korean side that it will take care of those issues you know with its Westinghouse and I think you know it's uh, fair because you know Korea, United States, and Czechia are strategic allies. allies. 한국과 협상 중인 두코바니 원전 두기 외에 또 태밀린 지역의 원전 두기에 대한 한국의 수주 가능성은 어떻게 평가하십니까? The Korean chances to secure another two blocks, you know, are quite high. I would think, you know, it will very much depend, you know, on the experience what we will do for when building the first two in Dukovani. If it, there will be a satisfaction, you know, on both sides, you know, with the process in, uh, and uh, with the interaction between two countries and two investors, I'm sure, you know, that the negotiation about the further two. Well, Ambassador, that is the end of the interview. And thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much you know, for your time as well, and I hope to see you next year in Prague. Thank you. Thank you. Hamsamida.